Okay, well I started off today actually just getting the vlog up to date because I felt like that would be a, a good course of action. The vlog is now uploaded and up to date. Well, yesterday is, or two days ago is up and live and today's, or yesterday's, is right here. That's scheduled for four. So we are all good and up to date. What are you up to this fine day? I'm just chilling. Anything in particular? No, I'm just chilling and drinking tea. Well, to be fair, you finished your term. <laughs> so, is this is this officially summer break now for you? Or? Yeah, it's my one week of summer break. Cause Drexel. <laughs> oh, enjoy it while you can. Happy Sunday, everybody. I did one round of this last night, but today I uh, gonna spend a little bit more time trading Pokemon over these Gen three games. So that I could uh, try ever the more to get closer to 100%. I'm at 46.5% right now. But uh, this document right here, whenever it comes into focus, is the entire list of Pokemon that I need to trade trade between games that I have right now. So I'm not actually going to be making any story progress today. But um, I, uh, I have a giant list of everything I need to trade, and it obviously is going to take a while, but honestly that should skyrocket my my percentage, because four of the five games I have story completion on, so I'm just working on Pokedex for those. Ruby being the only exception that I need to actually go complete the story. But as you can see, I did one round of this last night, and there's a lot more to be done today. Okay, well I pretty much played Pokemon just about all day, and that's about the... Uh... The only thing I did today, but uh, you know what, whatever. It got me good progress in my road to 100%ing the third gen games by the end of the year. Because I got all the way up to 58% the entire gen 3. That was a lot of work. It was a lot of trading, and I mean it took a lot of uh, planning to get onto that level with, with trading. And there were a lot of trades that were done today. A lot. There's still some on the list that I have to do tomorrow, but I didn't realize it until um, today. I didn't. I lost track of the date, but Tuesday is the day all of the DLC for the newer Pokemon games comes out, and I kind of want to play that, but I might also let it sit for the weekend. But we'll we'll see when the time comes. And also, one other very important thing that I forgot to mention somehow yesterday. Persona, I, I had been seeing, seeing rumors about Persona 4 dropping on Steam, but as of yesterday, Persona 4 Golden actually 100% dropped on Steam. If you've been waiting for a chance to play it, and you have a decent enough computer, now's your chance. It does take a little bit of a higher spec machine to run, but nothing super crazy. Like, I tried to run it on the Surface tablet down here and it wouldn't run, but probably on my main gaming computer it would run perfectly with mine. I was just lazy. And, uh, yeah, I did buy it just because I really wanted to support the developers. But, uh, you know, you should always do that. So, Pokemon trading, a lot of work. Persona 4 Golden is still a good game, even if it's... I don't want to say inferior to Persona 5, because it's definitely before Persona 5, but I like Persona 5 more. Anyway. It's late. It's after 11. And I'll be up at, like, 5 to go to work. So it's time for me to head to bed. <laughs>